This will be for the con exercise area of rectangles with fractional with fraction side lengths. So the formula for the area of a rectangle is just length times width. L times W. Okay, some people like to think of the dimensions of the rectangle as the base and the height. So you can also say the area of a rectangle is base times height, B times H. Okay, and for a square, it's really the same thing, but all the side lengths of the square are the same. So typically the side length is represented by the letter S and the area for the square is basically just side times side. Okay, some people like to think of it as S squared, but for this exercise, we will just stick with side times side for the square. All right, so quick refresher, how to multiply fractions. When you have two fractions, you multiply numerators. So nine times three is 27. And you multiply denominators, so two times four is eight. Okay, so you would enter your answer in this form as an improper fraction. All right, now for some of the problems, you're going to have to convert the mixed number to improper fraction. Okay, so the way to do that is to take the whole number in the front, multiply it by the denominator, and then add the numerator. So this is going to be 5 times 4 plus 3. 5 times 4 plus 3. And then you keep the old denominator, which is just 4. So this is going to be 20 plus 3 divided by 4, or 23 over 4. So for some problems, the dimensions will be given as a mixed number, and you're going to have to convert that to an improper fraction in order to multiply the side lengths. Okay, so we are looking to find the area of the shaded portion in purple of this rectangle here. So we have the rectangle form formula. Area is length times width. And I always think of the width as the left to right part, but the order that you multiply doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to let 3 equal the width. Okay, that's the distance from the left to the right. And the up-down part here, you can see only a portion of this is shaded. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows. Okay, but only 1, 2, 3 out of 5 of those rows are shaded. Okay, so this distance here, just for the shaded part, is going to be 3 out of 5, or 3 fifths. Okay, so we're just going to multiply 3 times 3 fifths. This will be the width, and this will be the length. All right, so we have 3 fifths times 3. Okay, if you like, you can make it 3 over 1 if that helps. It's the same number, 3 or 3 over 1. Multiplying numerators, 3 times 3, that's 9. Denominators, 5 times 1, that's 5. And your final answer is 9 fifths. So you click in the box and you type 9 slash 5. Okay, um... As, you're, as you see, they say they want a simplified proper fraction or simplified improper fraction. So if you don't reduce, they're going to make you reduce it. All right, here we have another rectangle. And instead of length times width, this time I'm going to call it base times height. But like I said, that's the same thing. B times H. Okay, so the height is the up-down part. That's going to be 3 fourths. And the base is the left right part. That's going to be 7 eighths. Okay, so for the base B, that's 7 eighths. And for the height H, that's going to be 3 fourths. 
Now, since they make you reduce the fraction at the end, you might want to see if you can divide the top and bottom on either fraction by the same number. Okay, in this case, you can't. So I'm just going to do 7 times 3 in the numerator. That's 21. 8 times 4 in the denominator. That's 32. And in the box, you write 21 slash 32. So in the box, click inside and type 21 slash 32. All right, so here we have a rectangle once again, but this time we have a mixed number. So I'm going to convert this mixed number. Okay, the M just means meters, so I can ignore that. Okay, 1 times 5 is 5, plus 4 is 9. So this is going to be 9 over 5. All right, so the area of the rectangle, length times width or base times height, same thing. So the left right part, I'm gonna let that be the base B. So that is nine fifths in place of B. And the up down part is the height H. So I'm gonna let H equal three fifths. Okay, I don't see anything I can cancel top and bottom. Nine times three is 27. And 5 times 5 in the denominators is 25. Okay, you leave it as an improper fraction. You don't need to convert it back to a mixed. So 27 over 25. All right, 27 slash 25 in the box. All right, so just re real quick, if it says square, you're only going to see one side length. So you can fill in the other side length as the same thing, okay? So if this is three and a half, the left right part is also going to be three and a half, okay? And you just convert these to an improper fraction and multiply three and a half times three and a half. Uh, it's gonna be seven halves times seven halves. And just real quick, that would be 49 over four.